What up guys, been a minute. Sorry I haven't shaven and the lighting's terrible. I try to be against the window. Anyway, today's subject was, um, <laughs> it's been a while. I missed you guys. Anyways, today's subject, it's kind of a sad subject, but it, it's, it's a real subject in Japan. Of course in America, but America's like, what, 50 times bigger than Japan? So you can't really compare America to Japan. You can compare America to China or Japan to, I don't know, Washington or California. Anyways, so child abuse in Japan is a very, very real thing. There's so many articles I read about it. Like, we'll give you an example. There's a, a father in Nala, and mind you, a lot of, you know, dads here, they, uh, they, they work quite a bit. And on Sundays, most dads, they have their kids. Um... Anyways, they went to Nala to see the deer. Nala is very famous for having deer and stuff like that. Apparently, the kid uh, made dad so mad that he decided to punch the kid for some odd reason. I, I, maybe to man, man him up, teach him a lesson. But he punched him so hard he killed them. So that was one case. I'm sure dad got in trouble for it, hopefully. If not, then I have no idea. More than likely, though, but that's one case of uh, child abuse. Um, there's uh, two other cases that happened like two years ago. Uh, a girl, she's being abused by her father. Unfortunately, a lot of these cases I'm talking about currently are about men. But I will move on to girls as well. Girls actually abuse their kids, unfortunately, a lot more than the guys do, just because you still have that nuclear family structure, a lot of moms at home and stuff like that. And sometimes when they have more than one kid, it can be highly stressful. Mom's job is the hardest job in the world. Dad gets to drink after work. So, but anyways, I digress. Let's backtrack. So the next one is um, a girl is being abused, okay? And the school has taken an initiative. This is just like elementary school, Shogaku. They've been taking an initiative to be to talk to students to try to figure out who's being abused and who's not being abused. So good for Japan there. However, this girl, you know, was a little too late. Um, I think she was seven. Her dad got very angry, so he decided, he's like, get in the bath. She's like, nah, yeah, you know, I'm not going to do it. And he, he threw her in the bath. He put the water on super cold and he sprayed her. She's screaming, whatever. Mom, I don't know where mom's at. I don't know if she's not. It didn't, it didn't mention mom. But anyways, a lot of moms, typically when dads are abusive, um, they're scared. But anyways, so he kept hosing her with the cold water until she died. So that was another case of child abuse. Um, this is not really... So I'm going... I'm going off my subject for just a bit but this is a very common thing that really upsets me since my my daughter has been born uh they have drivers that are easily 90 years old almost every single day in the newspaper i read about some 70 year old you know hitting a kindergarten student like a little five-year-old he just hits them with his car in the street and that really bothers me and like even though this occurs daily for the last, I don't know, eight years. <laughs> they haven't done nothing about it. So you yeah, have these old people killing off the kids faster than the Japanese can make them. Don't wonder why the, the, the you know, the, the child rate's going down. The old people are hitting them with their cars. So it's, it's kind of messed up. All right, yeah, so you have a lot of dads doing things they shouldn't be doing. Another example, this happened about seven years ago. A mom, she was single, had a son, 12 years old. He was a chugaku, which that's uh, middle school age. He was already kind of awkward and stuff like that. You know how it is when you're in middle school, you're awkward. The dad was highly abusive. He started off verbally. I think he just kind of wanted to be with mom by himself. That was the goal. And he attacked the child every day. Not like physically, but verbally. Like, you know, really just kind of making him uncomfortable to a point where he got so depressed, he killed himself, you know? And even after that, mom stayed with him. That's crazy. So that, that right there is a sad thing that occurred. Um, my recent experience, uh, I was working at an international school. This was about um, six months ago. And this is one particular mom. She, she was a single mom. And 
she, she, I'm not trying to be mean, but she honestly had no class. She had no tact. She had no class. All the other moms that came in, like, they, they came in and they talked. They moved like they belonged there. She was the only one that didn't. But it, she would, when her daughter made her angry, it didn't matter if I was there, other teacher was there, anyone was, anyone was there. Sorry, it was it was so tragic. I just it's she just backhand her daughter no matter what was said. I'm like, yeah, your daughter she uh, didn't listen today. Just full power backhand to the face. Daughter had no idea what's going on. She's like on some genius stuff, right? She's like, has these blocks and she's building like a robot that's gonna revol revolution, I can't talk. She's building a robot and she's just doing amazing crap. Like, like I truly believe this girl's gonna be an engineer. And her mom was like, Psst. like she, she looked at me like I'm crazy. Like her an engineer, she's stupid. I'm just like, you're her mom. But yeah, she, she straight backhanded her. I was warned ahead of time by the head teacher. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, why don't you report this? lady you know so all the other moms all the other students were fine i didn't see any backhanding i've been working in the english industry for you know, off and on for like 10 years i've never seen anyone get backhanded but she got straight <laughs> yeah I, I was i don't know what's the say i didn't last long at that job I, I i cannot condone watching parents beat their child so badly especially in front of me like a backhand, like her face is all like bluest up. She was crying, going on. And I kind of felt powerless. And the head teacher is just like, well, she does that all the time. And I was just like, okay, why don't you do something about it? She's like, I'm trying to keep my job. So yeah, it was, it was, it was a very sad experience. Uh, yeah, I, I, I talk about this particular subject because for me, actually one of my friends, he had... Okay, this is a, not even a child abuse experience. This is like spousal abuse. So I'm gonna switch up the subject for five seconds. My friend, his his wife, um, very jealous, increasingly jealous over time. Where are you going? Where you been? I try to call you. He's like, I'm at work. I'm learning Japanese. I'm trying to take care of us. And eventually, she stabbed him <laughs> with a knife. I'm not even joking. She stabbed him with a knife. He didn't die, luckily, but. He so he so he had to take a step back. He's like, whoa, because she she punched him before, and he was just like, please don't hit me ever again. We're good. I'll keep working. But after he got stabbed, he was like, it's over. He divorced her, moved on. He has a new girl now. They've been together for like a year or two. They're about to have a baby. They're happy. Everything's great. This new girl's not a Japanese girl. In my own experience, you know, I married a Japanese girl, and yeah, like. I don't know. I, I just, I'm not saying all Japanese are abusive, but I, I, I just feel like the term child abuse is very loose here. Okay. So I, I, I really think if a dad was outside punching his kid in the face right now, I don't think anyone would stop him. So from my conclusive idea, it seems like child abuse in Japan is okay even though for me it's not i've seen it i've had experiences stopping it and it's still a big problem that plagues japan and it might plague other countries as well and i, and I know it does plague america as well but again america is 50 times bigger than japan so anyways peace um Later, I'll talk about a different subject. Sorry, it took me so long. Been working, busy, you know, the usual stuff. Anyways, later. Bye.